Friday or so. I think it was on Friday or there about here. I visited this lady that is doing our painting for us. Well established is this woman and uh, while I was there talking to her, she said something, she said, Pastor, I want you to pray for me. I said, what do you mean? Say, I need my help, my business. I said, is that all? She said, yes. I said, you need a husband too? She said, no, Pastor, don't pray for that one. I have one. <laughs> I didn't give that one. Hallelujah. But here it is why I was trying to pray for her. The Holy Ghost said something very profound and I ministered to her. I said, look, the also I should tell her that when I spread my hand wide open on the cross, is an invitation of all the problems, all the pain, all the needs that every man, every woman is going through it. Tell her that, that my hand has not closed since that day. Anything that she needs, my hand is open and ready to accommodate. And I want to minister to you the same way today. I don't know whatever thing you are struggling with in life. The hand of God, the hand of Jesus that was spread on the cross is wide open to receive every of your need, every of your pain, every problem you are encountering in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We surrender everything unto you. Be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is so good. Oh, Put your hands together for Jesus. This is the moment of impartation. This is the moment of healing. This is the moment of transformation. And I don't want you to take it lightly. God has called you and ordained you and is taking you to the great height. I was yesterday invited to a friend of mine. Some of you know him. He's now a bishop. We thank God we have one in the region. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> we have one in the region. Uh, 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 Reverend, uh, and now Bishop of Life. And I was over there with so men, holy men of God. Bishop Adi, Bishop uh, Kelvin from Thomas, from Canada. I mean, you you see what God had prepared for man. The Lord said, son, this is a, a clue of what heaven looks like. I mean, you see, the, you saw Holy Spirit came. What I'm telling us is that God has called us to his holy place. He wants us to be part and partaker of whatever he is and who he is. He has invited us into his kingdom. And I want us to understand that and today, is the beginning of that in your life. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. The Lord is so good. Amen. Father, we thank you. Through Abraham, you have blessed us. By your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, you have dispensed your grace and mercy unto us. And by your Holy Spirit, Lord, you are cooking us. Thank you, Father, for what you are about to do here in our midst today. Thank God the glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let me just introduce our speaker today, a man that I dearly respect, that has been with me and has stood side by side with me in this work. I, I, I look at him, I say, you are my Joshua. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A man that God has blessed us with, a father full of wisdom, a man of good report, filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's just stand on our feet as we just Give honor to whom honor is due. 